hi guys welcome back to my channel today i decided to talk to you guys from outside because i'm just um getting off work and just taking a stroll in stuttgart trying to find a place to sit down and talk to you guys and i'm realizing how loud stuttgart is and then we sit somewhere and talk about what is happening in germany currently what is the situation apart from the fuel prices shooting up everyone welcome back to the phoebe way hope you're all doing well i am doing much better yes i did not come to you guys with a legal video legal update um last sunday due to various reasons but definitely one of them was just me trying to wait it out on the war situation trying to get gather more information to see how it affects us as um expats or foreigners living in germany or africans living in germany and then uh, also, of course, I was just under the weather, basically. When the, the seasons are changing like this, as you can see, I'm comfortable enough to sit outside and you can see the sun, the glow is back, you know. These are some of the changes that we are going through in Germany. We'll talk about the, the seasonal changes in a bit. But let me take a minute and tell you guys about Luggage Pool. Luggage Pool is your logistics partner in Germany, made by expats for expats. So if you're trying to move furniture, anything from point A to point B, please look, look into Luggage Pool. And if you use the link up here, if you sign up with the, this link, you save five years of your first transaction. And if you um, sign up as well, you're going to save more. Like the, the prices are cheaper and you can also yourself offer your services to other people so if you have a van and you are, you keep traveling you know you travel from a to b the way those petrol prices are looking mm, if you can save on petrol prices if you can sign up on luggage pool and say that hey i'm traveling on social -so date and i have space in my car i can carry something for somebody look into luggage pool and sign up okay so you can also save some money and make some money as well let's get into today's topic updates how is life in germany i've been showing you guys a bit you know walking around in stuttgart situation is fairly calm um i personally know of people coming to germany from ukraine especially african students and they need places to um, stay they need people to help them understand the language and what all that is going on yes this is a situation it is true and i i i don't know but When I saw those videos of the discrimination that was going on at the borders, I I just I just felt sad. I have talked about racism before. I've talked about discrimination before, and I took the video off. Not just because it's a uh, not touchy, but it's a delicate topic, and I didn't want to be too emotional about it. So if I would talk about racism and discrimination again, I would take my time and break some things down and also educate myself more on it so i'm not just talking from my emotions but it's just sad to see what went on and i hope that as time goes on human beings from all areas from all cultures will just accept the fact that we are just the same but different in how we're brought up where we lived and our cultures are equal no culture is higher than the other's culture no skin color is higher than anybody's skin color nobody's superior to the other okay that is just the bottom line but yeah so for african students that are trying to leave ukraine or that have left ukraine and trying to find their feet in germany we had a discussion last tuesday and the video is up as well it was a live session where people sent in their questions Currently, not a lot of information is out, and once I have even more information, I will definitely come back and tell you guys about it. So, some are trying to continue education here, 
and that is where the humanitarian stay or the permits based on humanitarian grounds comes into place so if you think of staying in germany and you don't want to apply for asylum that is an option for you so look into that as well look into that so the video is up here i'm just going to link it so you see it either here or here i don't know now which one is left or right but that is one thing another thing that we should um, talk about is how it's affecting us in germany it's brought up a lot of um discussions about whether um, people all people are welcome because i remember some time back um some borders were closed i think it was in the same poland where they closed the borders to people coming from different countries and people are now saying that because they did not want to let them in because of the color of their skin and all of that and current and since it's ukrainians they are opening up their borders and allowing them in and the discussion is hot it is really hot but as i said i don't want to dig, dig into racism and discrimination issue now so that is one thing this is the discussion these are one of some of the discussions going on here now another thing that is an uh, another effect of the war and how it's affecting germans or people in germany is the fuel prices as i talked about earlier when i was talking about luggage pool charlie it's wild it's wild within two days you see that it's 10 cents more expensive now it's over two euros per liter some are selling to euro five to euro ten to euro thirteen like hey when did we get here when how how did we get here but yes this is what has happened and this is what is going on and we can only hope that it's it's get rectified in some in some way okay now let's get into the legal part of this talk what is new so basically when it comes to corona the corona restrictions are way less stricter now they are more relaxed so as from latest by the 20th everywhere should be relaxed except that we, should, we still have to wear the mask mask is deemed as a low measure so mask in the bus mask in the supermarkets and all of that and if you want to go to the restaurant now 3g is allowed as well and the shops are no more asking for tests so going through Stuttgart you can just enter any shop with your mask on nobody's going to ask you to provide a test except you're going to the restaurant then you have to provide a test and also in connection with corona home office is supposed to end um by mid-march and i think by 17th the government is going to sit down or the lawmakers are going to sit down and deliberate on what the way forward would be but until then your employer can tell you to come back to the office yeah so home office luxury is no more except your employer himself says that or herself or themselves say that yes you can stay home and work from home for those that have that you are blessed <laughs> because we know the monday morning struggle guys we know the monday no makeup no food struggle because you're just tired tired but for those that are enjoying this luxury i'm happy for you i'm happy for you we tap into your blessings for some of us we still have to go and meet our clients outside so yeah next will be as i told you guys last month the consumer protection law it's in effect since first of march so look into that and make sure that your um your contracts are updated as well so make sure what you can um terminate you terminate so if you have contracts from the march from march 2018 now you only you can, you can basically cancel those contracts even in april 2022 because now you can do it basically so look into the contract that you can terminate and yeah so last but not the least we will be changing winter time to summer time so from the on the last sunday of march which would be probably 28th or something right the last sunday let me check and tell you guys the last sunday in march is going to be the 27th so for the nights from 27 to 28th at 1 59 it doesn't change to 2 a.m but rather 3 a.m you remember in october we're allowed to sleep longer now we have to give the hour back so they're taking the hour back so we don't going to have any 2 a.m on the 20th on the 28th of march from the night from 27 to 28th so once it's 1 59 it changes straight to 3 a.m and then we'll be going back to summertime what this means for our family back home is that now we need you guys by one more hour so for those in ghana we lead you germany we'll be leading 
um, you guys by two hours currently we need you guys by an hour but as from the 28th of March it's going to be two hours so if it's 6 p.m. in Germany it's going to be 4 p.m. in Ghana okay this is basically it if anything comes up do check out the community tab do check out the Facebook group or the Facebook page the Phoebe way the Instagram page the Phoebe way as well especially the stories and the posts I put um, some information in the stories as well and the post so look out for that the, there is also um, a podcast where I featured on with the migrant network I'll put the link out once it's ready as well about how you as a woman as an African woman you know can find your way in Germany and can find your feet and have your feet stable in Germany that is also something you should look into and as I said if you have any question about life in Germany what you should do just send me an email. I'll connect you to people that I can connect you with. If you need my services as a legal interpreter, send me an email as well. I'll definitely um, send you an offer and we'll talk about what you need me to do. And then we'll talk about um, the whole uh, service that I'll be rendering to you. So that is also possible. And yes, anything else? I think not. But my prayers are with everyone in this or due to this war. And I pray that you are healed from the pain, from the shock, from the trauma. And I hope that all this is over very soon. We just need peace and stability back in our system, in our lives. Yeah. Take good care of yourselves, guys, and see you same time next Sunday. Now I'm going to go out and enjoy the sun. Feeling is coming. And yes, we have allergies. Start looking for your allergy doctor because... It's not, it's not funny. I've been down for a week due to allergies. So please look into your allergy protection. If this is your first time in Germany and you're experiencing this, it's probably allergies with running nose, itchy eyes, um, itchy throat, and all of that. Look into that as well. Okay, now, let me not blab too much. Let me just sign out and see you guys same time next Sunday. And yes, during the week, I upload the Ghana vlogs as well. So check out the Ghana vlog playlist. Look, watch the videos. Let me know what you think and hopefully we'll be doing more trips this year as well if everything stays calm we'll be doing more trips and i'll be sharing those trips with you as well bye